The stock is very inexpensive given the growth, the growth trajectory. How do we get to this 10 trillion? Is Nvidia becoming the most valuable company in the U.S., or do we see these other tech giants moving higher along with it? Yes, and let me remind you that I had said years ago that App, uh, Nvidia would surpass Apple to become the world's most valuable company. Now it's nipping at its heels. What is going on with Nvidia that is unique from a company like Apple or Microsoft is, as you know, it's fueling the AI infrastructure. This is really important to understand because Hopper architecture drove us to about 90 billion data center revenue. NVIDIA is quickly releasing the next architecture. It's called Blackwell. It will be out before the end of this year. That we think can bring us to a $200 billion data center by the end of fiscal year 2026. So that's calendar 2025, meaning that this next cadence of the generation, which is Blackwell, will equal or slightly exceed Hopper. And there's reasons for that, which is that it will empower and enable trillion plus parameter large language models, which is exactly where big tech is trying to go. So those components all together equal a very large hardware data center segment. Then we have software coming, okay. which I could talk at length about, but I won't, I'll be brief. <laughs> and then the third one is automotive. So we have a lot coming. This is very, very early for NVIDIA and there's a few layers to it. In an unprecedented commitment to technological innovation, Canada has announced a substantial investment of $2.4 billion to foster the development of artificial intelligence within its own borders. This ambitious project is not merely a funding initiative, but a strategic move to position Canada at the forefront of AI research and application globally. NVIDIA, renowned for its leadership in producing GPUs and AI chipsets, emerges as a likely partner in this venture, potentially gaining a significant advantage in the expanding AI market. The decision to select NVIDIA as a primary collaborator underscores Canada's intent to harness top-tier technology and expertise. NVIDIA's advanced platforms are essential for supporting the complex computations required in cutting-edge AI research and operations. This makes NVIDIA an attractive choice for powering a myriad of AI labs and enterprises that will benefit from this investment. The $2.4 billion allocation is particularly targeted at enhancing Canada's appeal as a destination for AI professionals and innovators, aiming to both retain homegrown talent and attract global experts. NVIDIA's CEO Jensen Huang has previously emphasized the importance of sovereign AI systems, suggesting that every nation will eventually need to develop its own tailored AI capabilities. Canada's hefty investment aligns perfectly with this vision providing the necessary resources to build a robust AI infrastructure that complements NVIDIA's technological strengths. This strategic alignment not only boosts NVIDIA's business prospects, but also ensures that Canada's AI ecosystem is equipped with the best tools available. However, the venture is not without its complexities. While the investment promises to expand the AI sector and indirectly benefit NVIDIA through increased hardware and software demand, the focus on developing domestic capabilities could pose significant challenges. Protectionist policies might limit NVIDIA's direct access to certain projects, particularly those involving sensitive technologies or strategic industries. For example, while the Canadian government has earmarked $200 million to support AI startups and sector-wide adoption, these initiatives might prioritize local firms, potentially sidelining foreign companies like NVIDIA from direct involvement. Additionally, Canadian initiative includes a provision of $50 million aimed at establishing new regulations for responsible and ethical AI development. This regulatory framework could impose additional compliance costs on NVIDIA, affecting its operational efficiency and profitability in the Canadian market. As such, NVIDIA must carefully navigate these regulatory waters, ensuring compliance while still seeking to maximize its involvement and benefit from this national investment. To effectively leverage this opportunity, NVIDIA will need to adopt a multifaceted strategy that includes forming strategic partnerships and deepening local engagement. By aligning itself closely with Canadian enterprises and academic institutions, NVIDIA can ensure its technologies are integral to Canada's AI expansion while adhering to any new regulatory standards. This approach will not only help NVIDIA to sidestep potential barriers, but also place it at the center of Canada's AI development narrative. This strategic investment by Canada with NVIDIA represents a significant milestone in the global AI landscape. It is a clear indication of the growing importance nations place on developing their technological capabilities to ensure economic and strategic autonomy. 
For NVIDIA, this project offers a vast landscape of opportunities to cement its position as a leader in AI technology, driving forward its growth trajectory while supporting Canada in achieving its ambitious AI goals. Your price target's uh, kind of pending on a lot of assumptions, if you will. So one of the assumptions is that the estimates for data centers are too low, and also that the market for the TAM, I should say, for chips is also too low. You cite Lisa Sue and other chip CEOs saying that basically the market's even bigger than we all think. Isn't this just a little bit bubblish? I mean, just this idea that no matter what the estimates are, there's even more room to go? I, I'm glad that you brought up Lisa Su and then Intel's CEO as well. Lisa Su has a $400 billion data center segment by 2027. What, our, what my forecast is, is that NVIDIA will take the lion's share of that. Intel has a $1 trillion TAM by 2030. Again, my forecast is NVIDIA will take the lion's share of that. So I okay. think that those TAM estimates are in line. And what now needs to be decided is who will get how much of the pie. So you're also saying that their moat is sustainable, even as we see, you know, a real build out of chip production here in the United States. And of course, other companies are trying to catch up, not to mention the number one comp the number one customers, I should say, are making their own chips and actually becoming competitors. So how much longer do you see this moat lasting for another five years or does, does this moat continue to last because you feel like NVIDIA is continuing to ramp up? There are a few elements there, which is that when big tech makes custom silicon, they're mainly doing it to optimize their own applications. They won't ever become merchant. Uh, they won't ever compete on merchant silicon. So what that means is they're not going to commercialize and sell chips the way that NVIDIA does. So NVIDIA has an open runway there. Secondly, the CUDA software platform is what developers learn on. So similar to iOS is really what locked people into the iPhone because developers were developing applications for the iPhone. The same thing is happening with NVIDIA, which is that the CUDA platform is what software uh, engineers, AI engineers are learning in order to program GPUs. So that helps lock them in. And that combination right now, I'm calling it an impenetrable moat. So wow. this is not a moat that I see um, being something that would crumble or erode. In a strategic partnership that is poised to redefine the artificial intelligence landscape, NVIDIA is shaping up to be Canada's preferred partner following a previous collaboration. This partnership was further cemented in February 2024, when the Canadian government inked an agreement with NVIDIA, setting the stage for a substantial $2.4 billion investment in AI. The presence of NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang at the 2024 Canadian AI Summit in Toronto, where he stood alongside leading Canadian AI experts, underscores the deepening ties between the tech giant and Canada's AI ambitions. This alliance is pivotal as Canada aims to not only advance its digital infrastructure, but also to position itself as a global leader in AI within the next decade. NVIDIA, with its rich history of pioneering AI technologies and market-leading solutions, is ideally positioned to help Canada achieve these lofty goals. By leveraging its vast experience and technological prowess, NVIDIA can drive AI innovation across various sectors in Canada, potentially leading to a significant increase in demand for its products. The implications of this partnership are profound, with the global AI and government and public services market expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 16.9% from 2023 to 2030, reaching a market size of $51.78 billion. NVIDIA's strategic position within this burgeoning sector is more crucial than ever. Given that NVIDIA already commands 90% of the AI server market, it is well positioned to secure a substantial share of the expanding sovereign AI market. Should NVIDIA manage to capture even a fraction of this potential, it could significantly boost its revenues by as much as an additional $45 billion by 2030. NVIDIA's financial health is robust as evidenced by its recent performance. The company's data center division, which includes GDPUs for AI applications, reported a staggering 427% increase in revenue year over year in the first quarter of fiscal 2025. Moreover, with a quarter-over-quarter -quarter revenue growth of 23% from the fourth quarter, it's clear that the demand for AI computing power is not only sustained but growing. Though NVIDIA does not provide segment-specific guidance, expectations for the second quarter revenue are set around $28 billion, indicating a 107% year-over-year growth and an 8% increase from the previous quarter.
While this might appear as a slowdown, it is more a reflection of increasingly challenging comparisons rather than a deceleration in NVIDIA's business trajectory. NVIDIA has consistently surpassed its financial targets. For instance, while the Q1 revenue goal was set at $24 billion, the actual revenue achieved was $26 billion. This pattern of outperforming expectations suggests that NVIDIA's momentum is unlikely to wane soon. Jensen Huang has articulated a vision where the next industrial revolution will be powered by accelerated computing, transforming traditional data centers into AI-driven factories that produce artificial intelligence as a new commodity. Given this backdrop, NVIDIA is not just maintaining its relevance. It is actively shaping the future of technology and industry. The company's role in developing AI solutions that can be deployed across various sectors, from government to private enterprise, cements its position as a critical player in the global tech landscape. With such profound market influence and innovative capacity, NVIDIA's stock remains a compelling buy for investors looking for exposure to cutting-edge technology and significant growth potential. As the AI landscape evolves, betting against NVIDIA could be more than just a missed opportunity. It might be a strategic oversight in understanding the future direction of global technology trends.